Hello! In today's video I'm going to be telling you 25 things that you can do this autumn in order to make the most of autumn but there are actually 26 things on my list so let's just get right into the things you could do in autumn. So number one we have a classic we have to make a jigsaw. I love making jigsaws so much and I feel like it's such a cozy nice hobby to do and it's definitely something I'm going to be doing this autumn and bonus points if it is a autumnal jigsaw. Number two is to have a scary movie marathon. Now, I do this every year with my little brother but we watch movies that aren't really that scary. We watch kind of old scary movies because I'm actually quite scared of scary movies but yes have a scary movie marathon where you just spend a whole day eating loads of food and watching loads of scary movies. I would really recommend watching the old movies so like the original Friday the 13th, the original Halloween, Rosemary's Baby, Night of the Living Dead, all those type of things. They're just really really fun and really give the nice spooky atmosphere. Next up we have to do some baking, bake some cookies or some cakes and of course these need to be autumnal themed or Halloween themed so they could be Halloween bakes, Halloween cookies or it could be autumnal and you could use spices, you could make something with pump pumpkin or cinnamon or something like that and yeah I would definitely be baking something autumnal this season. And number four we have create a boo basket, either give or receive a boo basket. Now if you don't know what boo basket is, it's these baskets that have kind of gone bit viral on TikTok where essentially you buy someone a lot of autumn full Halloween gifts and you put it in a basket and it's called a boo basket. Now this year I intend to create one for my friend and give it to her and I also hope to receive one from my boyfriend so fingers crossed to that but this is just such a cute little present to give, a nice way to say I love you to someone in the spooky season. Number five, we have go for a forest walk slash go for a forest bike ride. So find somewhere where there's loads of trees, where the trees are preferably turning orange and brown and yellow and either walk through those trees and those leaves or ride a bike through those trees and leaves. I really hope to do a bike ride this year. Uh, hopefully I will get to do it and hopefully go on a day where it's not raining. The air's a little bit crisp, but it's like, it's warm enough. Yeah, I just think that'll be a really fun idea. Number six is a classic and it is carve pumpkins. Of course, you could do this closer to Halloween, so more in October than September. But of course, carve pumpkins for Halloween to put outside your house for Halloween night. Uh, carving pumpkins are just so fun. And bonus points if you reuse the pumpkins afterwards or actually use the insides of the pumpkin to make pumpkin pie or some type of pumpkin baked good. Number seven, I have decorate for Halloween. Again, a Halloween one that you would do more in October. But yeah, we decorated last year and I find it so fun. I love decorating for Halloween. I just love making the most out of any occasion and season, to be honest. And something that I saw that I think is really, really cute is kind of doing cute Halloween as opposed to gory and scary because I find a lot of Halloween uh, costumes and decorations can be quite garish and quite like just a lot of plastic whereas you could go for more cutesy Halloween. I even saw like pink Halloween where you can get like pink ghosts or maybe you could get a pink fro that has ghosts on it or has zombies on it or whatever has a Halloween word and yeah you could do a really cute really cute decorations it doesn't have to be those like classic Halloween decorations that are all like purple, orange and green. But yeah, decorating for Halloween. For number eight, I put a reading marathon. Now I just find similar to jigsaw making, I just think reading is such a cozy hobby. It's just so cozy. You can get in bed, get a blanket, get a cup of tea, read your book, preferably it's raining outside or if it's not raining, you could put on some raining ambience and read your book. And then bonus points if you read a kind of spooky book. So you could read Something Wicked This Way Comes, you could read Frankenstein, you could read Wuthering Heights, you could read Jane Eyre, something with a bit more spookiness to it. Or you could read something Dark Academia as well. I feel like that really fits the spooky but cosy reading autumnal vibes. In number nine, we have host a Halloween slash autumnal dinner party. We did this last year as a family. We had a Halloween meal where we all dressed up and it was very, very fun. So yeah, host something like that with your family or with your friends, bake something a little bit spooky or just autumnal and decorate the table, lay out the table in an either autumnal way or a spooky Halloween way. 
uh, and have a fun time with some of your loved ones. Number 10, we have visit a garden centre. I swear garden centres just do different seasons the best. So if you visit a garden centre, you're sure to find either Halloween or autumnal decorations. You'd probably find some costumes as well. And it's just really nice to look through all the plants that they have at this time, what is in season, what fruit and veg is in season and all of that stuff. And I would definitely, definitely, definitely be going to my local garden centre this uh, autumn. Next, start an autumnal show. So the, the classic one here is Gilmore Girls, which I have actually have just started watching for the first time ever. But you could watch anything kind of spooky vibes. You could watch Sabrina, uh, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, or you could watch um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. You could watch anything to do with witches. I think it's called Charmed, is that TV show about witches or anything like spooky-ish. Also another one that is a very cute one. It's also Gravity Falls, but there's also Over the Garden Wall which is just like the most autumnal show you'll ever see and it's really really cute so yeah I'd really recommend watching that one but yeah watching any autumnal show watching it in in the evening getting cozy and having a fun time in a similar vein number 12 is watch autumnal movies and I've got some suggestions for you of ones that you could watch that I'm probably going to be watching as well so these are movies that are either autumnal fall based or they are halloween spooky scary so we have casper beautiful creatures little women dead poet society and any tim burton movie to be honest to fit into the kind of spooky halloween section yeah i love watching movies and i love matching the movies that i'm watching with the season what season we're in right now and it's just really fun and you can just really cultivate those vibes those spooky autumnal cozy rain vibes and number 13 i put do an autumnal craft and by an autumnal craft i just mean any craft that kind of gives you that like cozy nice autumnal feeling so for me that would be something like crochet or it could be knitting or even punch needle something like that i'm definitely going to be crocheting because i love crochet anyway but i'm definitely going to be doing some autumnal crochet this season number 14 make a full playlist i've not done this yet but i really want to do it because just imagine it's a rainy like a bit gloomy day and you're walking along and you can listen to your full playlist like i feel like that would just be the best the best moment and it's just such a way to really get you in the festive mood get you in this autumnal transitional mood like music can help so much with that so i will definitely be making a full playlist and number five we have color do some full coloring so you could either get a coloring book that has some full pictures in it or you can print out some full-esque pictures and color them in coloring is so therapeutic it's so relaxing and again it's cozy as i've said for many of the things on this list it's just very very cozy and a nice enjoyable thing to do and number 16 we have plan full outfits i've already got my full pinterest outfit board and i do plan to make a few full outfits uh, that you can then wear you can wear when the weather is in this weird transitional period at least in the uk right now it's still quite sunny so we're not fully into fall yet it hasn't been that rainy yet or that cold but yeah make some outfits you can incorporate your uggs you can incorporate leg warmers knitted jumpers big jackets scarves earmuffs whatever you whatever fits your climate um, make some really cute outfits next up 17 we have dress up for halloween i really hope to dress up this year but that's provided that i have somewhere to go to dress up to and this year i'm hoping to do a couple's costume um with my boyfriend but yeah dress up for halloween bonus points if it's a couple's costume but of course you can just go yourself number 18 i have play an autumnal game so like an autumnal video game and for me this would be something like hogwarts legacy uh, animal crossing when it's in like the full season of your island or even sims so i have sims seasons and in sim seasons they go through all the seasons and i feel like playing sims seasons in the autumnal season while it's autumn in real life would just be an immaculate experience and i really want to do it and number 19 we have journal slash write again something that i just think is super super cozy imagine you're with your blanket you're with your cup of tea and you get your journal out and you start just journaling doodling filling out your journal but i also put write so you could just do some writing i feel like i don't know why fall and autumn just feels like a very writing literature heavy period for me and it does remind me of things like little women dead Poets society and things like this and i guess classic books so writing just feels synonymous with that to me so yeah 
be a little Joe March and do some writing, write a poem or a short story or even a full on novel if you have the time. And number 20, we have a coffee shop date. Very self-explanatory, but just go for a nice coffee shop date, get a coffee with someone and yeah, bonus points if it's raining outside and you could also get something that is pumpkin flavoured or spiced or cinnamon or something like that to really get into the full feeling. Next up, this one's quite specific, but it is go to Poo Pooh's Corner. So this is Winnie the Pooh in the UK. There's in the 100 acre woods, I'm pretty sure, in what we know as the 100 acre woods in the UK. There is a little cafe called Pooh's Corner where it is a Winnie the Pooh themed cafe and I really want to go there and I just feel like that is the epitome of an autumnal activity. So a bit specific, a bit niche. If you're not in the UK or if that's too far away from you, something similar, visit something, a cute little cafe that kind of just gives that vibe of like outdoors, autumnal, greenery, all that type of stuff. At number 22, we have to do a full photo shoot. So once you've decided on those full outfits that you've planned, you can then do a photo shoot. You can do a photo shoot of you in the leaves, of you with friends, of you with your pumpkin carving, of you at the garden center, essentially doing any of these things on this list. Do a photo shoot, just commemorate the season, commemorate the time passing, commemorate the cozy vibes. I'm definitely gonna be trying to snap some pictures this season. Then at 23, I have go to bonfire night. So in the UK, bonfire night happens in November. So it is technically in autumn full and it's just such a like a cozy autumnal event uh, that takes place because it happens outside, it happens in the dark, uh, all the leaves have changed colour and you have a bonfire and you have fireworks and I feel like yeah it's just it's just the epitome of fall so you could go to your local bonfire, fireworks show, whatever you have going on around you. At 24 this is quite similar to go to a garden centre but go to a market because Markets, again, are quite good at moving, changing with the seasons, so you can see what is in season in these autumnal months. What do they have at the market? And also, because markets tend to be outside, you can be in the outside and you can see the trees and see the different coloured leaves and it might even rain, which I'd personally quite like, to be honest. Yeah, just go to a nice market this autumn. Number 25, getting closer to the end now. Number 25, we have go to a bookstore, as I said. Fall for me just gives such vibes of reading, literature, writing, classic books, all things like that. So going to a bookshop, of course, had to be on the list. I just feel like the vibe of bookshops are so autumn and I feel like it's even like the lighting that they have in bookshops and all of that stuff. So yeah, go to a bookshop, visit a bookshop, buy some books. I really want to go buy some books. I always want to buy books. I'll probably do that. And yeah, buy some books that you can then read in your reading marathon that you have this fall. And finally, number 26, a bit of a rogue one, but this one is organise your space. I feel like when any new season, any transitional period is happening, organising your space is a very good thing to do because you're kind of refreshing, you're getting ready for this new season, this new time, for all that is to come. And yeah, I would definitely be doing this. I would definitely be organising my space, getting rid of stuff I don't need anymore, putting away my summer stuff and fully embracing fall and autumn and everything that comes with it. So that was my list of 25 things, although there are actually 26 things that you can do this autumn in order to make the most of it and really to just feel the autumn vibes. I'm just really trying to embrace fall and autumn this year. I feel like it's just because I just want to mark that, you know, time is passing and things are happening. And yeah, I just love getting really into all the festivities, whatever season it is and I do plan on making a video of kind of like a vlog of a really autumnal weekend in my life essentially where I'm going to try and tick off as many of the things I've said on this list and maybe a, a few more as well so if you are interested in that definitely subscribe stick around to see that because I'm not sure exactly when I'll upload it but I do really want to do one of them because it forces me to then do the things on this list which I want to do because I know it's going to make me feel so cozy and wholesome and autumnal and just ready for like you know autumn and then the transition and going forward into winter just getting really ready for all of that so yes that is the end of the video thank you for watching bye